What up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you one of the latest Nike Supreme collabs, the Supreme Air Max 98 TL. Hang out with me for a few minutes, and I'll show you all around this shoe, talk about Nike TL, show some shots on foot, and show you all the 3M all over this shoe that other YouTubers aren't showing you. Okay, let's get started. So, I picked these up a couple weeks ago on the Supreme app for 168 US dollars. This latest collab released in four different colorways. They dropped a black pair, an all brown pair, a white pair, and a bright pink pair. All of them are kind of cool, and at one time my gut was telling me to go for the white ones, but I have so many white sneakers, I thought I would try something different. These dropped alongside the Supreme Pillsbury Doughboy collabs. They dropped a bunch of new shirts, hoodies, and pants with the Doughboy logo. They even dropped a Doughboy cookie jar that people seem pretty hype about. In any case, they were an interesting release, and I wanted to check them out for myself. I've heard people calling these the Air Max 98 Doughboys, but to be clear, I don't think Pillsbury had any affiliation with these. Anyway, let's take a look at the sneakers and talk about the Air Max 98. But before I do, please drop a like and please subscribe to my channel if you like any of my videos or if you're feeling any of my content. It's completely free for you and it would really help my channel. Thank you and now back to the kicks. Starting with the box, it's a standard Nike Supreme black box with a large glossy spot UV Nike logo on top and Supreme box logos on both sides. It's a clean draw style box, but nothing too crazy. When you open them up, you'll see the Nike Supreme tissue paper. Pulling these out, you'll see a black Air Max 98. While it is somewhat basic looking, there are a bunch of extra touches all over the shoe that I'm going to show you. First, let's quickly talk about Air Max 98. A lot of you are probably not familiar with the 98, and that's understandable. Most people who want this style will go for the 95s or the 97s, but on this one, Supreme went a little more obscure. They tend to do that sometimes. The 98s originally released in, you guessed it, 1998. They were the successor to the more iconic 97s. They have a very similar looking shape. The mid and outsole is exactly the same, but the cuts and panels on the uppers are different. If I'm being honest, I was never a huge fan of the 98s, and these are actually the first pair I've ever owned. My favorite Air Max are the LTD3s, but aside from those, I like the 90s, 95s, 97s, 2090s, and 720s. Who cares? This pair came with two sets of laces, this all black pair, and a black and white pair with a touch of 3M to reflect the light. I like these black and white laces, but if I'm going for all black, I'm going to commit to the all black laces. Since we're in this area, you'll also notice both pairs of laces have the Supreme logo printed on the aglets. That's a nice touch. The uppers are all black and mostly mesh with layered hits of synthetic leather and black rubber. Working your way to the tongue, you'll find the Nike swoosh and the Supreme logo. It looks nice and makes these feel a little special without doing too much. The logos on the tongue are also 3M. Take a look. That's kind of cool. Working your way inside, you have a black sock liner and a red insole with the Nike Supreme co-branding. You will also notice a small tag that says upper contains synthetic leather. That's great to hear and they had me fooled. This feels and smells kind of like real leather, but I'm glad they went synthetic. Good for you, Nike. Moving to the side, you'll see an all-black midsole and outsole. The only noteworthy feature in the outsole is this Nike swoosh in this little rubber dome. There's also a small Nike swoosh on the medial and lateral sides, and these swooshes also have a hit of 3M. What's cool is the black rubber on the uppers have a light hit of 3M in them. When I was taking shots with my flash, I noticed the black rubber bits were also reflecting the light. I kind of like how it's not as vibrant as the other hits. Moving to the back, you'll find large Supreme text wrapping entirely around the heel with the TL logo incorporated into the letter R. It's an interesting little logo, and that fluorescent yellow pops nicely off the all-black shoe. In case you're wondering, TL stands for Total, because according to Nike, the shoe was completely outfitted with shock absorbers from heel to toe. Okay, I've seen this logo before on pairs of shocks. As you might have guessed, the Supreme text wrapping around the heel is also printed in 3M and gives off a nice reflection. All this 3M is not only a cool touch, but it makes these safer when walking at night, so I got that going for me too. The left shoe comes with a classic style orange Nike tag, co-branded with Supreme. I removed it, but I always like seeing these old school tags. Regarding fit, they fit true to size on foot, and they are comfortable. I wouldn't call these performance shoes, but they're a chill lifestyle shoe that would be great for the gym or pretty much any job where you're on your feet all day. For anyone looking to pick these up, these are not going crazy on the resale market. So if you're interested, you can cop a pair for close to retail or even lower if you're lucky. In conclusion, I'm still not a huge fan of the 98s, but after spending some time with them, I could see the appeal. I don't think I'll be wearing these a lot, but there's always a time and place for a pair of all-black kicks, so it's good to have these in my lineup. What do you think of these new Supreme 98s? Would you rock them, or are they trash? Let me know in the comments below. Also, among the four colors released, which is your favorite? I think I like the white pair the best. Anyway, that's my video on the Nike Air Max TL 98 Supremes. I hope you found this video informative or somewhat interesting. If you did, please click the like button, please subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on my latest videos. You can also check me out on TikTok and Instagram at E21Life. I'm always posting random content there. 
As always, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, stay safe, everyone. Peace. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told them all that I was soon, soon. No, as a child, back in the womb. Oh, told them step back, I need my broom, broom. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom. I'm in a whip, so I gotta zoom. They tryna talk, they not in a room. I've been so real, I'm back to the tomb. They in the way, they gotta move. I got a gas, they running on fumes. I'm told them way back, it's something new. It's me and Dan, you gotta choose. I'm taking my smile, I'm doing fine. Don't see the vision, they looking so blind.